Like, I don't know. It's like a new wave nowadays, a new age where, like, women are just trying to, like, out niggas niggas. Like, they're trying to out men men. Like, yo, I'll fuck mad niggas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like, what does that do? You gotta be the odd It doesn't like, matter God, what it does. I can. Me, and I, I'm doing it. Not me. I can. I can do it. That's all I wanted. I did it because I can. Like, all right, so I guess. How yeah, at me? Do you. Nah, you got to be do the you, one that mom. says no. Like, <laughs> shit is painful to watch, oh. man. Yeah. <laughs> but I still love you, women. Don't get it twisted. I love oh, you. Love. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Yeah! I'm your host, David Gunner. Woo! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, help us grow our channel so we can have more good content for you. More I'm algorithms. Here, once again, with my guys from the sandbox, my day ones, my A ones. Let's get it. Uh, to the left, I have no other than Chee Crump, yep. aka Crump Diddy, yep. aka Dexter, no, nope. aka Vibes. Serial killer. Nah, vibes is chill. Oh, vibes is chill. Vibes AKA is chill. William H. The all time great. Uh. AKA paper over people. Yep. Let's go. Pop smoke. Pop smoke. You can't be pop broke. Yeah. Nope. Never uh, that. Man. Not here. Paper over people. How y'all doing? doing? How was your week? How doing? How's the? What are your plans for the weekend? How are you doing? What's on your mind? How are you doing today, Crump Diddy? No, nah, I mean, my week was good. Been getting out, hitting, getting a little more sun each each every each and yes. every day. I mean, it's been a little warm in the Northeast. You know what I mean? It's yes. supposed to be nice this weekend, so continue to get out there, get some of that sun. Yeah. Okay. Od, od, I'm on nah, the sun. remember the pre meeting? You said you was good with the light with the matches. Pre meeting oh, light. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's no, no. Oh, that was bleak. Oh, it's bleak. My bad. I didn't know it was for Oh, bleak. for so bleak, it's good. Yeah, for bleak is good. Yeah, we're good. We're good over here. You see how we but, do um, it. But I'm chilling, yo. I had a good week. I mean, it was good. Oh, uh, everything is good, brother. Yeah. We're just happy that you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. There in, in podcast, Spot, land. podcast land. Podcast, podcast land. land. We here. Podcast landia. Yeah, and dude. to the right, uh, I have <laughs> the man, uh, the myth, uh, the legend, Ay. Pablo. A.K.A. Hey. Bleak. Yes, sir. A.K.A. Made by Pablo. Yes, sir. Certified. Some of the, some of the greatest digs you can find mm. on, the, on the internet. On the yes. internet. On the Real interwebs. Internet. Interwebs. interwebs. A, A.K.A. DJ Way V Seal. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to catch on. I like that. Yeah, yeah. A.K.A. Love I'm not imagine, letting... Imagine... DJing at the spot and then all of a sudden you drop your you drop your drop and it's like everybody in this everybody's in the club like ooh, 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 ooh. as soon as I walk in as soon as you walk in iconic ooh, I like it boss iconic AKA I'm not letting no pussy pass me I gotta smash it because I'm that guy yes how are the subscriptions doing 100 percent up tax season has begun tax season has begun Stimmy Turners is hitting Steamy your Turner. account as it's, we speak I'm feeling great. One percent. Some of them taxes is coming back too, and them uh, well, them tax breaks is looking lovely. Ooh, that they looking lovely. Tax break is looking great. Ooh, wee. gotta tap in. So uh, still a top one percent content top, creator. Of course, subscriptions is high. You slacking, and if you only high. top one percent, you slacking. I gotta get my decimal up now. Yeah, you gotta get your percentage up. Percentage. You gotta be Easy top. pass only, of course. Top. Easy pass. Easy pass only. Point five percent. Yeah, you gotta get there. You gotta always yeah. set a goal. Always. You should always strive to be in the one percent. Of the one percent, you dig? I do every time. I want to be top two, and I'm not two. <laughs> you dig? And of course, I'm your host, oh, let's a get Gunner, it. aka Horsepower, aka Ooh. Low Life, aka Ooh. Gregory Hans, Ooh. the Great Dance Legend, tap tap tap, aka the Moonwalker, aka the Real Gunner. Let's get it. We have it. a lot of AKAs. We do. Yeah. Episode thirty cinco. Episode episode 35. 35. I see you over there with that Big Hurt jersey You feel on. me? You know how it is, baby. Them. Big Hurt. You Hall of I mean? Famer. Let's get it. HOF. Hall of Famer, man. Guys, what's going on? How we living? Feeling great. Had a great week. What are the vibes? What are the vibrations between the plutonium solids? They're great. They're moving. They're keeping us together. 
That's it. That's all. How was y'all week? Nah. <laughs> anything? Anything? Y'all, y'all, did y'all do anything this week? Hell yeah, man. Sunny. It feels great. Uh, did I do anything this week? Uh, chill with my son. I, I came off a of vacation because you know it was my birthday. Not Where so was you at? Ago. What you do? Uh, when I say vacation, it was more like a staycation. Okay. I, I came those. off of relaxing and not working. Uh, I love those. And just just chillaxing. I love mm. those. Um, chillaxing. That's a word, right? I think so. I was uh yeah I was just chilling out maxing relaxing all cooling shooting some b ball no no was, none I of that it. just 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 chilling out though and I had a great time you know uh, was with some fam and um, you know family is always uh always being with good family company. is always great always good company when you're with family right, right, relax right, right. we got to rebuild our families man rebuild our communities man and that's what this blunt exchange Lead is your all pack. about Lead your you know, we're having pack. conversations having fun but at the same point in time we're trying to bring people together we're bring them bring together the family back Fathers. we're trying to raise awareness and bring and bring the people back together bring them back we need that so guys what are we talking about today i feel like today i want to do it a little bit different okay and i just want to have some fun with it man let's get it man. We've, been on, we've been on we've been really serious the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of things going on well, this uh, is America. You got to be serious. Yeah. To some point, I can feel that. Yeah. You got to be serious. You got to pay attention what? to what you... Take care of responsibilities. Mm. That's what you mean by serious, right? Yes. Right? I, yes. Pay bills. Pay and bills, man. Pay your bills. Know what's happening around you. Yes, Feed of course. Feed your kids. But, you know, you also have to enjoy the moments. Yes. You also got to live in the now, you know? Live in the now. One day you wake up... thing ever. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, that maybe it's... Yes, it's very important. Mm. But then you wake up because you could wake up, and then your whole life passed you by, and would that wouldn't that be a damn shame? Yes, that would be. So, guys, I think we should all try to live more in the moment. Yes, going forward and enjoy what we have in front of us. Life is short. Word of the day. Word of the day. Word Ooh, of the day. Word of the day. All right, guys. Word, word of the day. day. This one's a good one. This one's an easy one. Easy one. And I'll accept so many answers. Today's word of the day. Uh huh. Enfranchise. Enfranchise. The word of the day is enfranchise. Enfranchise. Hmm. Any guesses? Wow, you to got me there. Start a franchise? Not. Enfranchise. You got me there. Yeah. Well, give me a sentence. Uh. Damn, is there even a fucking sentence here? Hold on. There isn't. Hold on. I can make up a sentence. Yeah, make up a sentence. Enfranchised. Unfranchised. Enfranchised. Not franchise? You want me to spell it? E N franchise. Yeah, yeah. E N franchise. Yeah, just, Not franchise? Sen- give me a sentence. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to give a sentence without being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Just be an asshole? Do you, bro? I mean, just like, yeah, like. Don't make it a three worded sentence. <laughs> He is enfranchised. Yeah, he enfranchised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, <laughs> give me a little bit. So the word of the day. The, the word of the day, enfranchised. Here's a sentence. The Pelicans now having an owner are now enfranchised in the league-wide votes. Oh, okay, okay. To become a voting member board of a um, bigger organization. like To become a franchise? Okay. okay. No, not you guys. Enfranchise, like to like representation. To like to bring your th- thing or to start a fr- like to start a franchise inside of a league of some yeah, sort. Yeah, franchise. Start a franchise. Okay, I see what you're trying yeah, to say here. That's that's all I got. All right. So the definition is funny. So there's so many different ways that, that okay. I would have accepted. That's so why I said that. So I'm I'm good with both of you guys. Enfranchise, right? The mm-hmm. definition says give the right to vote. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Another definition is emancipate, liberate, free. Okay. That's a good one, G. So it's to give power to. Well, that's like, fire. To, exactly. to legitimize. To legitimize. I, I had no idea. You know what I mean? So I learned something new today. So you enfranchise, you give someone the right, you give someone like the... Yeah, you embolden. You, yeah. Not embolden, but... but you, no, like, they're right. like one of you. They're, you give them the... Yeah. You know, the yeah, step in. That. That, that word. Good yeah. word. What's up? Good enfranchise, and then we can... You know what I mean? So when you disenfranchise <laughs> someone... You take it away. You're taking you take away. away. Right. They're even... They're just... the person, who they are. I'm down with them enfranchised boys. And franchise boys, I like that. That's another T-shirt. That's a good Wait one. for that merchandise. It's coming. Blunt Exchange merchandise on the way. Um, all right, guys, let's get That's into this. That's a good shoots, one, right? G. You like that one? I yeah. like that one. 
Right, let's get into you it. You know what's a bad one? What's a bad one? The little Nas X sneakers. <laughs> It's so crazy because if it wasn't about what it's about, if it wasn't called <laughs> what it was called, I, I, I enfranchised myself in voting no for those sneakers. So worshiping Satan is cool. I mean, I'm still not over the blood yeah. on the sneakers. What kind of cult? <laughs> this shit is getting spooky. They're trying to keep That's it. Some they're cold trying to shit, keep, right? What the fuck? God bless you. They're trying to keep it drippy. Nah, man, but why would you want somebody's blood on your sneakers? In, your sne- in the bu- air in bubble. This, in the air bubble. Nah, so what you outside. mean? That shit pops and then blood? What do you mean? What so the what's your thoughts fuck? on that? What's your, what, what, would, you, uh, would, would you, from a collecting sneakers point of view, would you, cop, would you have wanted to try and copy one of those? Uh, I would have no interest whatsoever in copying None. Them, them devil shits. Yeah. I am f- disgusted by it. Um... I don't get why it's happening. Who asked for these? But at the same point in time, people will buy anything to try to resell it. So I get, you know, if it's a limited yeah. quantity. If it was, j- if I'm just strictly cold-hearted hustling, hey, I give it a look because I might be able to get wild bread off this. I'm interested to see if StockX is carrying them. Hmm. But then again, yeah, you f- you face the backlash too because it's such a polarizing. Yeah. And how how are you gonna yeah solidify those? Are yeah. So then you're like accepting. This devil shit as rough as to be thing. to be fair, they also came out uh, some time ago with uh, some holy water editions of the same kicks. Yeah, they tried. I thought they made that as a fucking. Oh, they made those first. Yeah, they made those first. They've been the trying. Holy waters. Yeah, they've been trying. They've been trying, and they won't get no hits. So they was like, "Yo, fuck it, let's do the devil joints." Let's do the instead. devil joints. Jesus, capitalism, huh? Listen, I, first of all, I don't even believe that that they sold in a minute. I think that was just bots. So. I mean, but bots, somebody puts the that. bots out with numbers. Yeah, that with was probably numbers. two people. Exactly, one person. That was one bot. That's it. Yeah, and I mean, one still, minute, it was gets, one bot. It's still it, getting it was one purchased, bot. though. It was one bot. It was one person. That's I mean, it. that's fine. So he, it really wasn't what they say. That it sold out in a minute. That whole, that whole little I mean, thing they, they still, to say. It was still, it's still it was sold bot. out. Yeah, it was a bot. So It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't um. It's still sold. Yeah, it only quit. Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't even go to good. Yeah. It don't. How does it not? If it's. How can you. Well, it's like forging numbers, right? It. Yeah, it's like forging numbers. What, what are you talking about? Oh, so you think they'd just be lying about the soul? They didn't even make 600 cat pairs? Uh, no, they, they like, made 600. They're like seven pairs and they just made up a whole if they fraudulent made Photoshop. Pairs, one bot sales. could have bought that. Yeah, but it doesn't oh. matter if one person bought it if it's bought. Like. A thousand dollars. Yeah. If anybody decides so to buy them. So $1,000 is 666 pairs, 666,000. Yeah. There you go. That's over half a million dollars. Yeah. Like he's about to take all that. No, Nike's going to lose. Nike's, Nike's not, not going to lose, lose if they tout it as a Nike release. Nike exclusive. don't lose ever. Yeah. Nike hasn't lost. Nike will they, not lose. They can't use Nike's name. But you can't sell it as a Nike. They, they, no, they were no you can't sell it. it as a Nike shoe. They were pumping it as like it's a, a Nike, Nike release. A Nike release. Um, I just don't like how he's uh, how he was he was first uh, portrayed to be like a kids artist, and now he's out here giving lap dances to the devil, and mad kids like him and probably yeah. already follow him. So yeah. all right, so really now so like now that. I want to so hold on before let, let's get bleak in on this before because now you just said something that now I, I take exception to. Okay, so bleak, how do you feel about uh, oh him seducing the devil and then. No, see, Will has corrupted us already. What do you mean? He said he because well, the, the ultimate the yeah, ultimate topic about was about the video. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. The video, he seduces the devil and then he defeats him. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I heard. Is in the, I, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't, fair, watched I haven't watched it either. I haven't watched. I haven't watched it, and I don't think I'm going to. Okay. So. Not even for research purposes. No, I'm not research. There's nothing to research. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm good. Nothing to research there. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. So I'm good. I don't know what his viewers are. What his viewers, uh, yeah, what they view, what they think. I don't know what they think, but I'm good. Okay. And uh, the question I have to say is, or what I have to say, you said um, it's fucked up that, I mean, sorry, you said it's messed up that, you know, he has all these fans. He was portrayed as a, a, a child. A kid. Uh, like, not a kid star, but somebody a pop, who... A pop, a pop, a pop somebody that's, that's... And now he's gone completely another way, right? I feel like since that song has come out, it's, which was like... That song and that video was, in my opinion, completely different than what appears to be who Little Nas X truly is as an artist. Yeah. And I feel that, like... 
it's unfortunate that like it it seemed like they went the safe route to to reel to reel the fans in and once they once they were there um he really went off the uh deep end in my opinion uh with his not not I'm not going to say he went off the deep end but he showed his true colors or true style and and fat and 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 how he dresses in the music and what he's talking about and you know I just don't like that for the kids yeah I don't like that for the kids neither yeah, but at the same point in time, and we gotta listen to the kids. And I'm not defending anything that he's doing because I don't. I, it's not my cup of tea. Once, like like I said before, but as an artist, it's not my responsibility of what your morals are, what your what you think, what you like, whatever. I can use whatever tactics. I'm just trying to sell a product, which is my music, which is my art. Like, you, I'm glad you like old country road. Let me see if I can slip my I fuck the devil shits in there, and okay. maybe you like it. Maybe I get some new new fans. Yeah, maybe like. Maybe. Maybe it's true. You know what I mean? It's marketing. Hey, and if I can get another old country road off again, I'll do it again too. Yep. Like I don't have to have your morals. I'm the fucking artist. I'm the product. You're on. You're coming to me. So if you don't fuck with it, peace. Bye. So like you know, it's not the onus and the responsibility in that case is not on the artist to me at all. Okay. So like I'm not saying he has to change. I can too. shit on his art like I don't fucks with it. But I can't be like, how dare he fucking seduce the kids and then go another way with it? Like, yo, no, the, no, nigga, I, just, can... I just feel it's misrepresentation. <laughs> the fuck? I just These niggas are all misrepresenting. Like, the niggas are lying about everything. All of them, the, the, our favorites are lying. The good ones are lying. Like, but you know. But that's what I was saying when you said that. It made me feel about like, it's not his fault. The fuck. I nah, mean, Cardi B to me uh, was. Cardi you said like it's like you said it's like, you said it's like you said it's like Cardi B and uh, the Wap. Well, the, the, the camera man said it, getting he feels like Cardi B or whatever and, he was doing in that video. Yeah, well, how, I, how so? How so? I don't necessarily agree because Cardi B, in my opinion, out the out the gate came out as an adult artist. Talking about adult uh, situations. You think it was a bait and switch? Is what you're saying? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, which yeah, is, yeah. I like, like, like it was. It's like when, <laughs> like, if it's like the cigarette company would have like cherry flavor and like, yeah. like it's like you're doing some grime shit, no, some I Pied just, Piper just, shit. You think he's doing some Pied Piper shit? Yeah, that that's what I feel. Oh, so you have like a whole lo- another. I just feel like he's a young nigga. Okay. He made a song. He couldn't believe. Like, I don't think he thought that Old Town Road was about to be Old Town Road. Like, no way in hell. I don't think the whole machine was like, this is gonna be a hit, and we choose you because we can manipulate you into what, making them worship the devil. I don't think that's what's I mean, happening. That's a, you know, I think the little kid got lucky, a got a hit show. in a song. He doesn't know where he's at in his life. He, I mean, he's figuring his shit out. He's okay. Now he's gay. He wasn't gay before. I mean, he was always gay, but he wasn't saying he was gay. He wasn't on the gay vibes. Now he's gay represent. He's the gay Avenger. Now he's fucking the devil and throw, riding the devil. Yeah. If, if, if He's dubbing the devil out, and, you know what I mean? With giving, you know what I mean? If, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I think he's just in a... He's just growing up and figuring it out. Do you feel? Do you feel that if if you feel like when Old Town Road came out mm-hmm. and he came out and he was dressed like in the pink cowboy outfit he wore um, at the, I believe one of the award shows, uh, would you have liked it? Would you still like the song, or would you not really? I don't know what your stance is on the song. Did you think that it was a good song? Uh, it was a good song. Did you think it was a catchy song? Did you think it was, it was very catchy? It was a it good was, song. It was uh, it was a very the production was a, it was a great beat, right? Nice, you know, it was, a, it was very catchy, bro. Like, what can we say? And we yeah. didn't know what the intention. We do, didn't know what Old Town it, Road or the is, horse meant. Do you think if he wore or that, riding meant? I thought it was some country shit. I didn't know it was some gay shit. You, I didn't know. Do you think if it, if he wore that pink cowboy outfit during the video that it'd be a, the song would would have been as big as it was? Uh, mm. No, but usually, how many, how many times is the first time you're hearing about a song or seeing a song in the video? That's not often. No, I'm saying like whenever the video dropped, I'm 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 the the song took off. I'm not yeah, saying the song. I'm was not saying the video already, made the song. The, the song was already a mega, 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 super hit, quadrega smash. Before yeah, the I, video complimented the song. Yeah, yeah, the point. video complimented the song. In yeah. my opinion, the video like exposed, not exposed. The video introduced some shit. Ultimately, what I'm asking is, do you think if he was this? Uh, uh, visual with his style when he first came out be- with the first single that he'd be as popular as he is? I think it's the ultimate question is like is his flamboyant uh, 
his flamboyant uh, performance and fucking like persona, you think that will lose him a lot of fans? Basically, what you're saying. I think that I don't think the kids. I don't think the average parent is letting their kid watch that. If that's the yeah, first. but if he's not saying anything crazy, he's just dressing crazy and he's still making slaps. I think he's good. I think the problem is, honestly, he's just not making as many slaps anymore. So Where are the slaps at? Because so if he's it? making slaps, it doesn't matter. What he does. People mad. People are saying crazy, stupid shit, coming in and out of jail, doing all kinds of crazy shit. But they're making hits. Some so nigga li- li- allegedly shot a bitch. So do you feel it's? And, uh, he, do you feel he's more so relying on the the persona to keep the him, drama? The, yeah, to keep him alive. Then uh, he's relevant on the blogs. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Is he relevant on the blogs though? I mean, this gotta be. He's relevant now. The blood, the the blood sacrifice shoes is relevant. They don't know who Lil Nas X is. I don't hear nothing I about mean, Lil Nas X. Didn't he have a video? Didn't he have a vi- did, did, Wasn't one of his last videos him making out with himself or something like yeah. that? Like yeah, yeah. Been, we talked about that. He's yeah. been he's been pretty uh, out he, there. Like yeah. since that. Original yeah, but video, but he don't. He's, he's not ringing consistent. no. He's not he's, ringing he's, no he's, bells. He's being consistent. I don't hear nobody here talk about Lil Nas X. It's a really a disgrace that his name has Nas in it. <laughs> I feel sorry for niggas. And Nas is not even my nigga like that. And I feel I feel bad for niggas that fuck with Nas. I feel That's that. crazy. So y'all know about uh, Malik Beasley on the Timberwolves and Larza Pippen? Oh yeah, they're married, right? Uh, no. Wait, Larza Pippen? Uh, Scotty Pippen's wife. Again? Oh, oh his ex. wife Again? Oh, they're, they're no, no, they're still, they're, they're still wife. They're, he's still married to her. Again? Um, they're, they're still married? Yeah, him, Scotty Pippen's still married to her. No. Nah, yeah. you're lying. What? Yeah. I thought she just kept the last name. Nah, I think she. I, I. How do you mean he's still married? Isn't he fucking some bitch right now? I mean, that doesn't mean. He, isn't they, they, they isn't separated. he involved with somebody I mean, right I mean, now? I mean, he's separated. They're just separated. They just separated, but they're they just won't separated, divorce. but they're sma- he, she Wasn't she just smashing future? <laughs> she was smashing everybody. She's still smashing everybody. So ultimately, she was dating Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley oh is uh, Malik Beasley is married to an uh, Instagram model who's uh, pretty okay. and young. Oh my you know, God! Young. What oh, is going Montana? Yeah, yeah. Do we want to put the? Will you put a picture up. Yeah, the, the side by side. Yeah, boom. Larsa Pippen and them. I'm gonna pick What'd his. I'm gonna pick his uh, wife. Why is Larsa Pippen seducing? How is she seducing niggas? So like this? and so his wife's young. Is the box his like out of control? And they have a kid. So he left oh her. He left her. He left his wife. He to, left her. to to be with Larsa Pippen. And then Larsa she, Pippen's top must be like out of control. And, so, and then Larsa Pippen dumped him and then uh, went, went to the next new uh, basketball player. Hi, yeah, I got to go higher. And she then, was like, yo, you, you don't have enough you don't talent. Even, does he start? And then his, and then his ex-wife just hit him with the, uh, with the uh, child support now. Good for you, stupid nigga. Like, that's the world we live in, stupid. Yeah, that's dumb. All right, dummy. You lost. Wait. <laughs> Play again. Thanks Say for coming. Say that last part again. So he was, who's getting the child support? Who's giving him? For, who's uh, his him? wife. His, the wife, he, he just left. Wow. I mean, why wouldn't she? Yeah. You stupid she nigga be. embarrassing her in, in public. For an old like shorty who's, 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 who's not even on everybody. you like that. Who's jumping with everybody. And she's not even on you. Yeah, she chills with the car. You just jumped out man. there. You Come went crazy. On. Have you ever jumped out there all crazy for something you thought was about to happen and it, yeah. it went crazy? It, it twisted? Um, yes, I'm sure. Niggas need more like stories about shit or shit that you've heard where niggas jump out there for some shit like dub their whole shorty. Dub your shorty. Yo, f- shorty, I'm done with you. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling how you do this no more. You know what I mean? Your meatloaf is wild dry and I feel like there's better things out there for me. You know what I mean? This yeah. is not where my life is supposed to be at. Okay. You're not the one. This is not it. Because you think you have another situation lined up. You go yeah. talk to Shorty, and she's like, oh, I thought we was just... Oh, you dumb, Shorty? Ugh, I have a nigga. Yeah, like, oh, I forgot to tell I you. He, never, he's going to be I here. I never thought it would be like that because you also had a Shorty. So, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ever been through something like that ever? Nah, nah, nah I've never been Would you that. ever... Have you ever jumped out there? You take big risks? Uh, I don't. Uh, I mean, I take I take risks. I don't. I don't know. I don't Grand know. gesture shit. Like, mm. hmm. When you bagged your shorty, like, did you like if would you pull out the stops to bag a shorty? Send f- send eighty fucking dozen of eighty dozen roses to her job. Like, yo, shorty, I fucking I'm love waiting. you, shorty. Mm. <laughs> no, that's not. I'm not sending you eighty dozen roses. Four dozen. Job. Four dozen. Twelve dozen. 12 dozen roses. 
Yeah. Yeah, you Eight. do it. No? Yeah, yeah. No, 12 dozen. Bleak grand gesture type nigga? Would you, gesture, have, you, have you done any grand gestures? I feel like I have before. Sometime, yeah. I've done grand gestures. Of course. Gestures. Everybody has fallen over one can time. It, can I get some of the grand gestures or Damn, grand gestures you've heard right about? Now, like some wild shit. the most fireless grand done. gestures you've done in your life? Grand gestures. No. Mm. Not. Put nah, rims on I, what? Yeah, I guess I haven't done too many. <laughs> nah, I never put no. Rims you didn't get a. No you didn't get a shorty man. all the flavors of the uh, the feel boots. <laughs> you didn't get her the, the right, beef and broccolis, the macaroni Ooh. tonies. Ever gave him the last bite of your meal? Give her the whole the whole shebang. You good for every season, baby? I got you. I mean, yeah, I just do. I, I feel that's just regular. Pay for a whole just, year of Netflix that. subscription. No, you just give her your out. login. You give her your login. Yeah, yeah that's respect. Right. That's how you know you, he loves you. You have his login. Netflix login. Netflix login. Get the Netflix login. And the Hulu and, and the, the Disney Hulu. Plus. The nah, actually, I think the Amazon Prime one is worth more. You got to give them the Amazon Prime for Why? Wow, there's only like three shows on Amazon Prime. No, but it's no, the, the delivery. It's, it's the, the shipping, oh, my guy. The, the Amazon they, Prime. Now they can shop. Yeah, I feel you. Next day delivery. The TV two is day delivery. To that, right? Free yeah. delivery. Yeah. They'll like that. Mm. Pay the whole year. Oh, yeah, Malik Beasley. Why is everyone running to the same old wash joints? Yeah, I don't know why. She's old and washed. She is she must, washed? She's probably not washed. She probably she looks mad be, good I in mean, real life. She's had mad plastic surgery done. She top, just, top game crazy. Yeah, something probably top crazy Top game about crazy. Her. all these niggas is just going crazy. I can't get pregnant. Goggles. You can do whatever you want. I mean, mad bitches say that, though. No, but she's old. Oh, my God. Yeah, but isn't that like a cut that works against you too? No, I'm like, saying yeah. in the sense of yeah, in no, their, yes, I their, know they're like in their sexual. I know you can't, get, can't pregnant. get pregnant. You just had menopause. Yeah, but aren't they? Isn't that forties? And when in a if, if she's bad, if they're in a sexual prime, isn't that their sexual prime? Wow, 40s. man, she's heat. She's 40s, hot right now. If they're not in the, if the physics, if the physical prime is imagine. I mean, she looks the part. I guess. I'm not saying she's. I guess. I'm actually saying she's super bad, but she she gets a plastic surgery done to to maintain the look as much as possible. As much as possible. You going for it? What? No, I'm not doing that. She's going for it. She's going for it. Y'all taking Lars and Pippa down? I'll do it. I gotta know at this point. You gotta know what the hell's going Just on. Just for content. We gotta find out. Gotta keep the subscriptions up. Got to find out. Yeah. You got to add new, like what, new uh, viewers, new. Uh, <laughs> but you got to protect this somehow before you even new meet fan her. Because mm-hmm. she obviously does something to fuck your head up. So you got to like find a way to protect yourself. I don't understand her game. She's just trying to like what, wrangle as much dick as she can. Like <laughs> she's dick wrangling. <laughs> she's making up for. Uh, like I don't know. It's like a new wave nowadays, a new age where like women are just trying to like out nigga niggas. Like they're trying to out men men. Like, yo, I'll fuck mad niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yo, it's like, what does that do? You gotta be the odd It doesn't matter what it does. I can. And I, I'm doing it. Not me. I can. I can do it. That's all I wanted. I did it because I can. Like, all right, so I guess. How yeah, at me. Do you. Nah, you gotta be do the one that mom. says no. Like, <laughs> shit is painful to watch, oh. man. Yeah. <laughs> but I still love you, women. Don't get it twisted. I love, oh, love. you. What's some new shit? I like that. Then this is your shit. You said, you said some shit earlier. But anyway, we'll figure it out. Who was going to put on a t shirt? I forgot. Whatever. Consent Boys. Consent Boys. Oh, the Enfranchise Boys. Oh, Enfranchise Boys. Yeah. yeah. I like that. There you go. Enfranchising. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? I, made that, I made that up out of nowhere. Yeah, there was no inspiration whatsoever. No inspiration. <laughs> um, there was plenty in there. So okay. did y'all see uh, Dwayne Wade on the uh, oh no Brendan Marshall podcast? Oh, no. I am a athlete where he talked about fire podcast. People talking about his kid. I'm not gonna lie, that is a pretty entertaining podcast. Oh dear, yeah. With the ex players, I can't front. Can't front. It's very entertaining. Very I'm not good. a big. I'm not a super. You know what? I fuck with them niggas. I'm I always fuck with I'm the athletes. A, I'm not gonna pump a podcast, but oh, a, a right. podcast from right. former professional athletes. I like I mess, it. I mess with that because a that's something I've never athletes. done. I've never been a professional athlete, athlete so, so that's cool. I like he, it. Yeah, I like pretty it a lot. Good. Pretty good. Um, Moving on. I fuck with the uh, up yeah, but smoke I, I heard about it. I think I seen clips of it, highlights of it, mm-hmm. 
And, you know, Dwayne Wade is in a position to me, man. I think he's just doing a great job for the position he's in. Okay. Um, salute, salute. A lot of misinformation. Salute. But in the end, in the position that he's in, mm -hmm. what can you do? I think he's doing great too. Yeah. As long as yeah, right. you don't like, and hey, this hey, if it's spicy, it's spicy, man. But fuck it, this is the blunt exchange. Forgive me if I'm stupid. Spice it up. Tell me if I'm ignorant. Spice it. But as long as you don't let him cut nothing, mm. slice nothing up until he's 18, mm. go ahead. Then hey, you did your job. Love you the kid it. and accept the guard, kid. Yeah. And you put tell him, him on what the you want to tell him, but you know, love him. That's it. Move on. Yes, love him. Maybe put I'm him a different path. mindset now. I have I have my own. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, it's my fucking kid. I don't give a fuck. Just... Protect. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Because eventually, as they get older... Because how many things you did when you were 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old that you look back now like, yo, this is fucking stupid. And I would have died for this. This is stupid as shit. So yeah. I feel like, you know, as long as you don't cut, snip, snap, you can wear all these dresses. We're going to look back at these pictures like, look at you, look at you, nigga. Look at you. <laughs> look at you, nigga. You have or, so or look back and be like, oh, man, you got way fresher than now you got the Louboutin joints. Yeah. Now everything custom made. Yeah, now your wig is the best. I've seen. I see, yeah, yeah. I never seen a wig like that. It's the absolutely flyers. flawless. Straight from horse hair. Bitch. Straight from the, the finest stallion. <laughs> the drippiest bitch. From the flyest bitch in the game. <laughs> My son, the EJ. flyest bitch in the up, game. Up there up with, with Irvin Johnson's son and Dwayne Wade's son. The yeah. flyest bitch in the Here game. Here we go. The flyest in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, please tell me. Huh? We got to be able to talk about anything. Y'all niggas sound very scared. Scared money don't, scared money don't make money. Yeah. No, not at all. Let's talk about it. So, uh, I have no... Hold on, wait a minute. We love... Listen. Uh -huh. Dwayne Wade did, is... I, I don't see too many other ways he can go about this. Right. Okay. That are not healthy and healthy for his son. Let me get the light of them. Oh, man. And healthy for his son. Like, I don't know. I feel like, what can you do? What's the other options? There is what would you say? I, I mean, there is other options, yeah. but he chose oh, what, the best. What, what do you think? I mean, obviously, the other options are the negative ones, you know, where you try to, like, force someone and then all of that. But he obviously didn't take that angle. He protected and helped and... Showed a lot of love and just getting it through it. I think they all are together. They're all doing a great job. So it's not just him, it's the whole family. Yeah, man. I know a lot of people keep asking me to talk about the Dwayne Wade shit, but I don't see that. Nah, man. He's very I supportive. don't see the fucking misstep yet. I don't see the problem. You feel me? He's saying that he loves and accepts his son. I don't, I... He has to. It's his son. That nigga's a little kid. Like, That's he what I'm can't let him figure it out. You know how hard it is not to? No, nah, nah, he didn't provoke that, man. Yeah, so. You know, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the other of it, the other side of it is the negative, and that takes so much energy to be against something than actually seeing it for what it is and then, you know, transcending through it and, like, b getting even better at it. So he obviously did the best. He took the right path. I mean, that's the best path I, I, see. I see. I don't see any other path. Yeah. Because even as me, I don't agree with necessarily that way to go about it for my son I would hope my son would go another way about it more traditional way a way that I did I uh -huh. want him to follow my footsteps and you know be better even better and go beyond me yes so I would be uh, you know listen following gonna, your footsteps of what being super straight <laughs> however you want to put it but follow my footsteps get a wife have you know what I mean you know what I mean or aspire to have a wife you know have children um like yes. like Super with straight. A, uh, with with a, a woman that was born a woman. Okay. Oh, okay. Man, so she was, sure. to, sure. she was able to sure. reproduce his children from her own loins. Yes, okay. you got to make sure. In her own womb. Okay. All right. Um, Natural. And I, it's, it's, the way it's God crazy that it. it's crazy. See, see. Wait, did I, did it's did crazy. I, go I don't know. You see okay. what I'm saying? Uh, Why can't this blood exchange? Just say I know. You know what I'm just saying. So, so I would prefer that. But you know, he's his own person. And. All I could be able to say is I love you. I accept you. Yes. Let's talk about it. Yes. Let's keep having conversations. We're, yes. we're, you know, that's what life's about. We're talking. We have conversations all the time. Yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Make somebody a woman or a man or just a reproduction. You want to ask the gender question on the show? What mm -hmm. makes it, what's male and female? Are we talking biologically? Like penis versus vagina? Yeah. This is this is this is this is one of the fights. 
this is one of those topics that like we can be here forever. Yeah. And then there's people that are going to be wild offended because how many genders are there? There's unlimited. There's New York ha- 47. New York there's 58. Counts as, uh, I think New York counts like 39 or something like that. Right New now. York has 39. So like, you know, where does it end? Where does it start? Or something like that. Is that disrespectful to ask that? Like, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to, I'm super straight with all that and I'm super straight. Keep it super straight. You I'm did. super straight with everything. Yeah, I feel that. Anything to say? Oh, oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm super straight. Super straight. Facts. You don't believe in that. No, but I'm just straight. I'm straight. I'm You're straight just with, straight. I'm straight so with you, everything. So I'm she doesn't have to be born a woman. All right. Um, next topic. <laughs> That's how it is. I'm saying like, but I'm not fighting that war. Because, you know, because... I'm going to take a seat back on that we one. We just talked about On that, that war, yeah. No, it's That's just, just an interesting... That's so interesting to me. All right, moving on. You know what's crazy when you go into a store... Um, as a black man, you already, first of all, you already have the storekeeper following you around. Right. I heard a trick about that. You just tell them, listen, oh, you work here? Uh, help me shop. Hold my bag or whatever. And they, they have to do it by policy of this, both stores. Nice. Fire. So that's a good way. Like, you nigga following Oh, hey. Oh, you're hey. Oh, you're bag. obviously offering uh, service. Swag. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't read you. I didn't heart. understand that. Yeah, language. good looks. Yeah. Hold that. Oh, I want that. A little bit magic. Oh, I and want I, that. And at the end of the day, you just keep the stuff that you have in your arms and that's all you want it. Yeah. You yeah. Like, yeah, never mind. I don't want that. Put that away. Yeah, turn it against them. You dig? Smart. Yeah. So you ever been in the store and it'll be an employee working there that just takes their job just a little too serious? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's everywhere. Like, oh, no, you're only supposed to take no more than two. Yeah. Like, yo, my nigga, it's the sample Jones, bro. Like, do you give a fuck? They're just out here. Like, are you serious? One per look, at the si- look at the sign. Well, the sign says, like, sir, like, you can only take yeah, two. Like, I, like, dude, are these coming out of your fucking paycheck or some shit? Like, what the fuck is going on no, here? No, sir, I just need are to you respect the, our policy. <laughs> are you the chicken tender monitor? Like, yeah. do they pay you for that? Like, no, you're getting sir. extra checks for that? Yeah, no, sir, I just need you to understand the, the rules. for this? You successfully protected 73 chicken tenders today. No, sir. From I just fraudulent need to chicken tender. From Nigga. fraudulent uh, sampling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oversampling. Yeah. Fraudulent oversampling. You sir, if you sure continue, you sir, I'm going to have to have you removed from and the I, premises. Oh, <laughs> we're going to have to have you removed from the premises. Perfect. You had three chicken tenders. It's a sign says two, clearly. So, so what was it again? So, uh, the lowest nigga. Yeah, so sometimes niggas take their job too fucking serious. Way too serious. Way too seriously. Man thirst like shit is coming out of their paycheck. Yeah, like like, like they have stock in the company when and you're I'm just for, a cashier. Yeah, and I'm all for taking pride in your job, but you got to know like what's important and what has nothing to do with you. Because when you think about these companies, these big yeah. companies for the most part, you know, mom and pop is maybe not the same. Yeah, right. But these big box companies, big companies. Yeah, uh, franchises. National yeah, franchises and shit like that. Okay. You are an employee. Yeah. Oh, you're one of thousands. Being, you're you're one of thousands. number. Anything. You're just employee number six, number. seven, and six, it, one, And it three. shows just now, on a, and I'm not, listen, I'm not anti-work. Please go get your job, nine to five, work fire. Hard, listen, get your money. Get your money. For majority, nine to five. Support your family to get your else. money. Yeah. I was in, I mean, Feed the kids. Know, I was in it too. And sometimes I do still. Dibble and dabble, you know, it's, you got to make money. You play the line. You play the Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but I'm at the same point in time, I'm not at their... You know what I mean? Back and call. Yeah, they don't. They don't own me. I can get away right. from them, and I'm still good. Right. Okay. Um. But you see how people will risk their life, do whatever for a company, right? And mm-hmm. just at any point in time, that like we see mm-hmm. the story with the Lowe's guy. Right. Yeah. What employee of the month for four months? He might not be the four straight months. He four not, straight months. He might not be the best example of it because everyone has you know things. Yeah. That, you know, you're a human right. being. There's good and bad things. But I've seen people work at a company well, 20, happened? 30 years. He got fired for his what thirty seven short thirty seven cents short his on his draw, register. Yeah, his register was thirty seven cents short. Fired, fired. Things happen. Mistakes happen. That's you're crazy. Employee of the month four straight months. Thirty seven cents. You're out of there. Guess what he was? What happened? He was black. Well, he was black, obviously. But the, is, that, is, that, is that a coincidence? <clears throat> well, not obviously, but you hope not. I feel like that's funny. I feel like they just had a reason to fire. Like they did want it to fire him. There's no other way. You sure? I think he might have posed a threat. That's what usually it is. 
post a threat? Like yeah, what? he posted a threat. Whoever was above him, four months straight being employee of the month. Oh, I see what you're saying. He was, he was, he was setting, posting he a was threat. He was up. too good. He was setting this up. He was up. too good. He's gonna take my job. He was posting a threat. Get him it out happens. Of here. It's you gotta understand the, the 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 pyramid and how that works from employee. You know, from the supervisor, manager, all of that. Like, mm. if he's posing a threat, and I don't want to his job security. For yeah, like the next person could have been. That's cutthroat. It and is nowadays the way happens. the way most of these contracts these kids these people work uh, that's what I got you can get fired for anything for anything anything I don't yeah blue you wearing blue today Ugh, I'm blood uh, you're out of here no but I'm hey. serious he posed he was posting a threat whoa you're Cho no <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's crazy though man hope he gets another job quick he will but that's how it is he that's good that he got out of there obviously. He was too good for them. Yo, Blunt Exchange. Yo, I really be high on this show, man. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not fake. I'm not pretending. I am booted. It's true. I know these niggas, whatever, don't get booted or something. It's fake. Their shit is fake. You dig? I get, I get high on this show, personally. I get high. I get high. I don't feel no kind of way about it. It's legal in my state. Derek Jackson. Hey! hey. Sasson. So recently he got... So recently he got caught up. So recently he got caught up in a in a couple scandals. Yeah, at yeah. first he said he was he wasn't cheating. He was doing everything but sex. But now he's come out and said he's had multiple sexual encounters, encounters. including butt sex. Oh, he said anything but sex. Now he even does oh. butt sex. So yeah, and now including. he's 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 looking completely. He's looking like a complete fraud. That's your interpretation. Yeah, he looks like somebody who preaches something that he doesn't. He doesn't walk. Is his is his advice valid? No. Was it valid before? Is no. it still valid? To me, no. In my opinion, no. Wow. Why do you think his advice is not valid? Oh, I I I guess is I was referring, referring to the advice he gives to men. As that's what he says to men. What do you think? Um. Well, everything he, every so everything he preached, right? Everything he said, he obviously his actions were different, right? They were the complete opposite of what he was saying. There's been at least three women that said they had sexual encounters with yeah. him. One yeah. that said that he, she got pregnant by him. Another one said they shared a relationship with him for over a yeah, year or she, two. Yeah, he was uh, flying her into to Ale- sleep in the crib that they, that he shares with his wife. Yeah, and she's been I took she's, pictures of him. In, in his the crib, in the crib, in the crib that he shares with yeah. his wife. Uh, so and like allegations that they've been doing shit for the whole time. They, well, they've been yeah. he, he's been together with his wife for like over 12, 14 years, something, something like, that. like that. And they said that he's only been Since faithful, college. like a, well, without any actual allegations for about six, eight months, yeah. or like a, maybe a year is going to be great, nice mm. out of that relationship span. Yeah, he he said uh, when you get when you get caught. It's probably not the first time you've probably been cheating. Yeah, you can just do a collage of just the shit that he says that yeah. is actually hypocritical to the way he actually lives. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hilarious. I've seen a couple of the, the, the medleys. Did you see the video with him holding his hand, wife's hand? You In feel jail. Like he made, you, what was that giving you? What were the vibes you got from that? I feel like he was making her he was making her sit there. And, like what? Like like uh, hostage vibes? Yeah, hostage vibes. Serial killy. Serial killing, like that was actual serial yeah, killing, not, not like, I, I don't not know what, like. See, that's actual serial killing. Yeah, not actual. the serial killing so that you can, do. Maybe we like, can drop my serial because that's no. No, connection. your shit is still there's serial no killing. You're the type of nigga no, no, to no, do no, like no connection. There's no connection. Nah, you're the you're no, the nigga no, no, no. the type nah, of do no connection, like cereal no, no, no. with water. No, no. Looks, like you're one of those niggas. Serial killing. Still serial killing. No connection. No connection. No connection. No connection to that kind of shit. We're gonna drop that. Yeah, because that's real serial killing. That's od. For what? Yeah, he's a super narcissist. Yeah, he He's obviously Derek Jackson. No, no. The thing is that he obviously thought. No, he can't can stop. he still? Can he still stay in this lane and make bread? I feel. I feel if, as long as he continues, he can. He continue make some bread. I'm, I'm not. Can he, can he's he, not gonna make as much bread. I feel. Can he stay in this lane and make bread if his wife left him? Uh, if his wife left him, I, I don't think so. That's that's that's. You think the bread stops? Yeah, I think the bread stops. You think he could change their role and, and be like... his wife, like, yo, if you leave, I can't even pay you no, like, alimony like that because the bread stops. You think he could change the the role and be like, yo, I'm a nigga that fucked up, like, 
and this is how you get your shorty back or this is how you repent like this is how you get right after fucking up like and take that lane i feel he 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 niggas he, like you fucked up yeah cuz man he, niggas he, fucked he up he blame he he he's he's not taking any accountability he blamed god he's like yo man he blamed what? god he blamed god yeah. for him fucking shorties yeah he was like how yo. do you blame god he's for like, you yo, having he's sex he's like yo i got mad at god because once i gave my life to god everything in my life started to go down like what? I, I wasn't able wow. to see my, my kids. I wasn't able to see my kids. Uh, wow. My, I wasn't talking to my wife. Da, 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 da. So I was mad. So I was like, yo, let me just go out here and have sex. That sounds insane. Wow. Yeah, that's what he said. That sounds insane. Wow. That sounds like delusional shit. Yeah. Did you hear how he talked? He, he he critiqued his own video in third person, and that's like yeah, textbook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was mad funny. That's like textbook, like, like narcissist shit. Yo, no. Yeah. There was a part that he said some shit like, he was like, yo, so Derek Jackson allegedly had sex with this bitch. I don't know if he did or not, but, but allegedly his wife he said, by him, so I think that's Nigga, really it's you, nigga. What do you mean you don't know if he did it or not? Nigga, you did you do it or not? Nigga, that's what we can't. Nigga, you what kind of it. sick nigga shit is this, bro? You said you did it, and then in your own critique, you said you don't know. I don't know if he did it because we don't have no proof. Crazy what do you nigga. mean we don't have no proof, nigga? Did you do the shit? What the fuck is going on? Niggas let this shit rock? I heard he took that shit down, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, See? of course. He took that video down, though. He had to. That is course. madness to me, bro. Like that is that nigga needs to be like we need a welfare check on that nigga. Yeah. What do you think about doing two day room, super man. pump monogamy and out here cheating on the low? Wow. Monogamy, but cheating on say, re, re, say that again. My fault. Like, was, what do you think about somebody like uh, like him? Like him, who's super pumping monogamy and and what a good man is, and he's. Dirt dogging it on the low. See a lot of see got kids and all that. There's two big problems there, mm. and um, this is a conversation we can have again because it's such a good one. I think the two big issues are one, a lot of men. Are we, me and me, you and our homeboy we were talking about this the other day. A lot of men are just not up front with what they want in a situation from jump. I yeah. want to fuck mad bitches. Because sometimes you say that a couple bitches will be like, all right, cool. You, you can fuck right mad bitches one. and then you're right good. You a lot of right bitches will be like, all right, well then, whole nigga, or gonna fuck with you, but they don't really fuck with you. You know what I mean? You know, whatever it is, you gotta eat that. But some bitches will be like, all right, cool, I'm gonna fuck mad niggas, but can your ego deal with that? So that's one problem. Niggas are not up front. The other problem is, too, and women, you gotta take some accountability, too. It's, you know, it's always the year of the woman, and we love the woman, but at the same point in time, come on, let's just be honest with each other and stop yeah. fighting each other. We love each other. Come on, yes, let's come back do. together. Let's build a community, right? We can smoke blunts together. That, it's, that's romantic, I think. Just, you know, a couple of nice roll L joints with your lady, but ladies, you gotta stop fighting this. Here it is women want you to be monogamous and faithful only to them, and that is very noble. Noble. But a lot of men, a good portion of men, have very healthy sexual appetites. Ladies, are you willing to fulfill these appetites? Even on good days, bad days, in between days, Wednesdays? Niggas want to have sex. Yo, a niggas be reasonable. A nigga want to have sex five times a week, four times, four and a half times a week. Or if you give me some tappity tap, you could have sex with me three times a week if I'm getting the brains five, six times a week. And niggas will, will feel, I, I'm telling you, a lot of niggas will be reasonable with that. But a lot of stories will be like, oh my God, six times a week. Oh, this five times a week. What do you think this is? So why can't somebody fill in? You can only do three. Why can't I get the three? Is that fair? Is that unfair? Do we need a woman to talk about that again? But Probably like I'm saying, how? What Probably are the thoughts on this? To talk about that. No, no. But yeah. what are the thoughts on it now, though? Well, to get to the bottom of it, right. we might need a woman. But what do you think about it? That's what it brings that up for me. That's what. It, that's what it makes me think about. So we, if you, like you said earlier, you're gonna get the ones that are gonna be like, "Fuck out of here, you whole ass nigga." And then there's going to be ones that are going to be like, okay, so, but this is the relationship. That means that they're going to do the same. And you're so, good with that. Yeah, I think as long as... You have to be. I think as long as I you mean, find the one not, that... If I you're not good with that, then you're not in... You're not going to... Yeah. Then you've got to find the selfish. one that'll accept what you want, and it, that's going to be even I mean, harder. I mean, and that's is insane. That even it's almost impossible. Is that even realistic? Unicorn shit. Yeah, like, that's insane in 2021. She's going to let you do you, and she's going to be monogamous to you? That's not, That's unrealistic. Yeah. I think I think you gotta find the one that uh, 
Like you said, you be honest with her, and you find the one who says, yeah, I'm down with that. But like you said, you also run the risk of her saying, I'm doing me. And if you're cool with that, then I feel y'all can have a thriving relationship. Yeah. And it's only fair that you're open to that because you yeah, want I that. I feel like when you don't express that and you go into it saying like, or making I'm monogamous, yeah. and then you still f get your urges met. Or do you bring that up in the moment? Like, could you, could you, like, could you be swindled? Could it be a bait and switch? Could you go into it? Like, you know, you're having sex a lot, honeymoon stage. It's sweet as shit. You yeah. Know, honeymoon is sweet. That's why it's called a honeymoon. And fucking, y'all are fucking all the time. It slows up. You go to, hey, baby, maybe we need to take a step back on this monogamous shit. If you can't fulfill it, is that a conversation that we should have in relationships more now? Yeah, I th if that's something that is arising, I definitely think so. Like, if, if, it, if, if, if she's not, like, if y'all are just at the same point still casual, like, that's what I yeah. believe you're saying, right? Yeah. You're, you're casually dating, right? Yeah, I feel that you can express that. Or you should express that. What if you're that. seriously dating? Well, then I think it should have been brought up before you said you, you No, no, it's should. come to this point now. It was good. It has trailed off. I mean, or I think, it has I think, it's slowed up. I think it's gone from five, six times a week to three times a week at best, okay. two, three times a week. Yeah. And you still have your drive. How do you get through that situation? I think this is a. I think this is an accurate compromise. and and realistic situation for many men. Realistically, right. you're with a, a female for a long time. After a while, I'm not trying to cut y'all niggas off. I'm just trying to get the thought out. Right. You're with a shorty for a long period of time, and you were having a lot of sex, and now you're having a little bit of sex, but you want more sex. I think you have to express to her that you want more. Mm -hmm. And what if she says, "I can't give you more." Like, this is what I can do right now. This is all I can do. And if you, need, you have to accept it or not. Compromise. If, if, those, if you need those two extra times uh, and that outweighs all the other stuff that you might possibly like from her, then, yeah, I'd, I'd tell you to drop it. Drop her. So are you just accepting that the way that shit is set up, that niggas just have to take that L? What do you mean take the L? You, if you because if she you, says that, she says that she can only give you the sex now two times a week. That's not enough for you. You have to hold that out, then, because you love her. I mean, and, are I, you gonna I, break I, up with her? I mean, or are you might, gonna cheat? She, what are you gonna might, do? She might just say maybe this isn't the best thing for you if, if that's what. Or you Or she need. leaves. Whatever. Yeah, she Separate. Might leave. I'm saying regardless. Either way, it she, breaks. You see how a nigga is up against it? Sorry. You see, my bad. You see how niggas are up against it? Up against what? That's a, like. That's a lost situation. Nigga, nigga is vilified. A dude is vilified for his sex drive. Who, who's, who? Yes. You're a bad guy for your sex drive. So, uh, she said you're bad for that. She just said. No, you but you're the bad guy. You can only lose. You can't win. If you have a high sex drive and your shorty sex drive goes down, you lost. You have to compromise. That's Because if you're going to stay with her, you have to compromise. You have you to compromise. You can't get it. No, you just have to. You have That's to, the relationship. You have to banjo Pamela That's Anderson. how you build you a relationship. To, you have to undulate your fingers across your. But that's you know, the thing that you have to do magic if you really want to be with this person. That's that's when the when and why does niggas always have to take the L? What do you nah, man? Women also take. the why L. Why can't you take a sacrifice There's and men give me that the are sex not three so and a half times active. a week? How about men that are not that sexually active? And, and they the gotta step is, it up for their shorty. And then and the women and they don't. So then the so women have to compromise. She, she, and, so so but but women leave women, and women they, they usually leave. do. They leave. Women usually do. So you can leave. That's why so usually that's women get hurt So by you're default. a bad guy for the sex drive because now you have to break a relationship, probably a great relationship, yeah. over sex. I mean... How, yeah, but how important is sex? And most niggas don't. They just eat it. I mean, And are unhappy they, and they, cheat. And they say they could It's a conversation that's got to happen. How important is sex then I don't think that that person doesn't want to be able to fulfill your, your needs. I, I just think that they said that they can't. And, and how is that like? And, and see, being, like, I'm just so saying, being how is that? That's just acceptable. That. I'm talking about prolonged periods of time. I'm not talking about yeah, a but day, that's a, a working two, thing. A week, as, a, a as, month. I got as hurt. partners. You got to work. I'm together talking about on that. two, three, four months. I can't. Whatever I can't is. I'm not into it. I don't feel it. Like I feel some kind of way. I feel like you have to say, listen, we got to go to therapy then, or something. I mean, like we yeah. have to go talk about it. Because how we can't stay stuck in this rut? We can't, but still, man. That's how it Nothing is. Nothing to say? Nothing that's to how, say? That's no, how no, you no, build no, a relationship. Are we enjoying this I'm, conversation? I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, waiting for you. You got to compromise, I'm just throwing man. things out there and seeing what, what we feel is, a, is... I don't think anybody's vilified by it. 
in I my think, opinion. I, I feel like if you express that you need something a certain amount of times and that person says they can't fulfill that, but they wish you and and you want to, you know what I mean? Like break up with them or whatever. I think they're going to say I wish you the best, but I, I I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill that. That so why are you, you copping please for the other side? Your sex drive is not being that. He's not please. I mean, you I are. Don't, don't you see that you're removing, copping, please? No, he's removing himself no, from no. that situation because obviously it's not being you, fulfilled. You right? have it a, is. a partner. You go into a relationship with a partner. Maybe I'm bugging. Yeah. Maybe I'm just bugging. Go ahead, go ahead. You go into a relationship with a partner. Uh-huh. You're having sex four, sorry, four, five, six times a week. Yeah. Five times regularly, six times, maybe even seven times on a good week. Okay. And then all of a sudden for a two-month plus Stretch of time, it you're down, having it two down, down. times or less, and sometimes none. Yeah, okay. and you bring it up, and mm-hmm. they're like, "This is I cannot. This is it. I can't keep up with that anymore." Well, they, they say they can't bring it up from the, the I can't. zero to two, or they don't. They can't bring it up to the where two it is to now eight. is where it's gonna be. So at oh, two, then I feel you can. Then you should be able to exit that relationship. Then I mean, if Married, it's that important to you, two years, three years, four years. So then you just got to work at it. You got to go to therapy. At this point, man, I don't want to go to therapy. Important. I just don't want to have sex. Like, why is that so big to you? I mean, that's part the of it. Sex is. That's always, part of sex marriage. Exactly. All it is. That's what I'm trying to ask you. Is is part of marriage. Now, now you is. break up. She says, it's because he. I, we broke up because I wouldn't have sex with him enough. Who's the bad guy there? Or, is, or She's they're going to be guy. sympathetic to her. She's the bad guy. Yeah, She's but that doesn't matter. Bad guy. If you exited no, that relationship, then you, you, you just you were better. You to broke yourself. up a home you over yourself. sex. You, you couldn't control your that. urges. That's what I think. What if she what? was like, "Yo, I don't really want to have sex before, but after we go mar- get married, you can go crazy on me." Right. Right. I said it right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm with that. If I can check the whole facts, if I get a clean whole facts, then yeah, I'm with that. I need to see a bill of sales. I need to see the specs. Can I see the specs? How many niggas did you, like, did they rent it? Did, do you know how to do, do double twisty? Do you not a? Yeah. Do you understand? Who, who taught you how to do it? Mm-hmm. Are you on Pornhub? Like, <laughs> do you? No, no, no. Like, y'all are together and you've had sex, but then she stopped because she was like, yo. So you and, oh, so she's already having sex with me and then she just cuts it off like, yo, chill. Yeah. Now yeah. we got to yeah. get married. Yeah. I can fuck with that if she's yeah. If that's right, that's a, that's actually a great. That might be fire. That's a hustle, but it, it's a. That's a hustle, but if, man. You getting hustled. if everything's right, how everything checks out. That? I feel that. How realistic are you with that, honestly? How how real? Uh, what, how can realistic? you elaborate? What do you mean? Like how, how like if she's at, let's say you are dating for six months or whatever, and you. Uh, yeah. She just stops having sex with me. Yeah, she's like, "Yo, I want to wait till marriage." Because you feel like this is marriage worthy. Yeah, y'all both say that, right? Yeah, I can fuck with it. So how long can you go with no sex? We'd be married within six months. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not waiting. I'm d- the six month is us six months having me having to go through at least a decent enough wedding. Yeah. Because honestly, okay, if I'm fucking with her like that, that uh-huh. I would wait. She stopped having sex, and I'm like, okay, yeah. and I'm still fucking with that whole train of thought. Then it's like, all right, so let's go down to City Hall then in two, three weeks. Let's figure it out. We got. I know we got to apply for the shit. But if she's like, I want a nice wedding. Oh no. Then that's for six months. So within six months, we get married. So like in a year. Yeah. Married it. Fuck it. Let's get to the real question. Why the fuck she had that bond on? Man? So some of uh, my staff is is objectifying her and saying because of her appearance that we should shame her. I'm not shaming her. What I'm saying is I know niggas that will do that and then go back because you know girls are fucking trifling. Some girls are trifling. And he'll be like, see, she don't want to get dressed for me. She don't want to look good for me. Oh, I believe he's doing, I believe he's doing all. I hope they can hear you. I hope, I think he can do all that shit. I think all of that is an angle. That's like some super. He's on some. Yeah. I feel like he is on some like movie he shit. To wear that bonnet to, 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 you, you think so? So your theory is the conspiracy is that he made her wear the bonnet so he can look back to his other joints. Like, look, man, <laughs> she won't even get dressed up for anything. She was depressed, man. I tried. I fought. Me, I prayed to God about it. 
Because I heard he's using God to, to smash joints. That's... You know what it was for him? You know what it was? Really? That's like... He, see, that's he, why people don't fuck with religious shit. Yeah. Like, that's the reason. Because niggas do shit like that. Like, it's, that's it. They they judge the people that wild out, like the priest that... Yeah. With the little boys. Like, he was oh, see? On John that's Gray. what religion that does. John Gray was issued on him. But he wound up doing the same thing. Oh, you heard about that pastor that was shitting on little Nas X? You heard his little... His shit? No. That shit was crazy. Wow. He yeah. just thought he was going to get away with it. Honestly, I feel like 70 to 90%, <clears throat> 70 to 90% of niggas, oh. if they're shorty one in their phone, their relationship is over. Wow. Or That's on a the, high or percentage. Or on... Rocks. Yeah, on Rocky Rocks. That's a high rocky percentage. Rocky Rocks. Hockey Rocks. Of sloppiness. That's a high percentage <laughs> of sloppiness. I think it's just even shit like it's not even like what you think automatically. Yeah, I think it's think it's some other thing. I think it's just text messages are inappropriate, too inappropriate. Like wow, you still talk to Jessica? Sloppy. Really? You still talk to her every day? Do you say good morning to her? <laughs> That's extra. You didn't even say That's good morning to me yesterday. That's sloppy. Man, you woke up with me. <laughs> oh my god. And then god. the nigga will say some shit like, yo, I didn't say good morning to you because I said good morning to you in real life. <laughs> Oh, but you texted her good morning. Yeah. yeah that's you crazy. had the time to do that. You can't be texting girls good morning when you have a girl. No, you can't. Is that a man law or is that just like that's, a relationship law? Listen, I mean, sloppy. I feel like there's niggas that send out the mass good morning text. Uh, who, they have them like saved, like good morning. I mean, they don't have morning, a girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I mean, morning. I feel like those are just single dude simps. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have a girl, you don't even have the energy for that. Simps. Nah. You gotta have the body. energy for that. You see, so that's how do you the feel problem. about Sims? That's like the you sex. You gotta Sims. have the energy. This is the thing. It's the first time we said Sims. What about him? So, do you believe that it's simpy to send good morning texts to the shorties? I mean, yeah, to send out mass good morning texts. Do you think it's simpy to call women queens? Uh, I think that hmm. um, it's the, the the use of king and queen have, has gotten overused. You want to talk about this? You talk, talk about, about it. Talk about, about it. Shit? Talk about yeah, it. We can talk about it. Yeah, we ain't talking talk about, about king kings and queens. We're not talking about Hov and B though. I think you should. I think when you have a significant. Do you think other, you're a king? Huh? Are you a king? I king. hope. I I'm I'm my significant other's king. I don't think I'm just you know like just do a you, king. Do you consider yourself a king? <laughs> No, I wouldn't consider myself a king. Oh yeah, man, I do. No, I would not Fuck consider that. myself a king. Fuck that. I think I think too many people are walking around <laughs> calling themselves kings and queens when they don't. Yo, they act like they don't do like not everybody's a king and a queen. Yeah, I'm yo. not gonna lie to you. I like mad niggas. Yo, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you because mad niggas walk up to you in the streets and be like, "Yo, what yeah. a king." I be feeling wild disrespect from that. Like, <laughs> Disrespecting me, like yo, what up, well, king? Why? I'm like, yo, man. What? Yo, so what's good, my nigga? So what's good? Yeah, yeah. So I what? Why? So what's good, just, then, my nigga? What's good? Yeah, I think you should. King? Think, yo, who's yeah. yo? Who are you, my nigga? Yeah. Whose man's is this? Who's calling me king? King. Who the, so what it is then, man? What's poppin'? Why? Huh? What's poppin'? Yeah, like, yeah. What's good? What's good? Yeah, that's, that's, I feel the respect from that. Yeah. I feel like we're Niggas calling grounded. me king. I feel like there's a trap door. Yeah, like, like yo, what it's a setup. We're not what grounded king? here. This I got not some timeshares. Like, yeah, what? Up, oh, man. Man. <laughs> See? You I see? knew it. I knew you was nigga had timeshares. I knew it. Fuck yeah. that. Nigga, timeshares in Coney Island. What yeah. is it? Nigga, what? <laughs> niggas, Coney Island timeshares. <laughs> niggas will have what a What up, king? I knew these. I don't fuck with these niggas, man. But, um. What do you, what do you think? Bleak. <laughs> Do you think Coney are, Island time shows. What do you think? No, no, no. <laughs> not Coney Island time shows. Do you think people would, are using the word kings and queens too loosely? <laughs> too loosely. I mean, it with. I mean, with, in that, yeah. How you know how you guys described it? Then yes. Do you treat your woman like a queen? I do. Have you day. ever heard her say, "Treat I want to be treated like a queen"? I mean, yeah. <laughs> have you ever told every her, girl? Have you ever told her you want to treat her like a queen? Yes. Do you say you need to be treated like a king? I think they've had, no, they've told me that. Have you said you want to be treated like a king? Oh. You shouldn't have to. You should just command it. You know what I mean? Oh, so you, you can. But I might have said it, though. I think you I what? might have said I it. I want to be treated like a king. Yeah. I want to be treated like you a king, man. Like I've been said that. Of course, that. but that's. That Are you a king? Yes. <laughs> you asked me this already. Oh, I'm <laughs> Are you a king, please? Yes. 
Do you want to be treated like a king? Yes. Why don't you say it? Sir King Wavy Seal. Come on. <laughs> Why? I need that. And you should be treated. I need to be knighted. And you should be treated as such. Yes. Yo, are, I you need okay? to fight. are you okay? I fucks with that. I need to get you like to be Do you like to be called king? <laughs> I don't like to be called king. <laughs> I don't, like, need, like, I don't need see, to be see, called I, king. I, I feel, I feel like I, I, I call my, I call my, like I call my, my significant other queen, and I mean she calls me king, and yeah. that's cool. But like, I mean, like I feel people be taking it wild, like literal, wow. like wild mm. literal, like people be walking around that don't command the stuff With that they anything. think, thinking they're yeah. kings, <laughs> yeah. wearing, wearing purple. <laughs> what did like, you you're a king. Nah, man, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I do hear it a lot more though, in like in uh, music and media and radio. You do hear. I think it's people confidence boosting, addressing each other as king. What's wrong with this boosting your confidence a little bit? Just yeah. you know that you're not actually a king because you would have mad guap in a castle. You don't. If you don't have mad guap in a castle, and at least like six or eight, it's like, six it's to like, eight horses like, or more. It's like if everybody's you're not a king. If everybody's the uh, hustler, who's the customer? Yeah. Not everybody's a hustler. Uh, if you're a killer, can we? We all can be kings. Off? Show, yeah. me who, show me who you killed. Can since we? You're a killer. Yeah. So we say if you're a king. Okay, okay kings? where's your uh, what do what's it called? Yeah. Uh, it's cool to like. I mean, yeah. talk to each other and uplift each other and and instill life and you know pump uh love and you know all that good stuff but you know sometimes but tone it down a little, yeah. tone it down a bit <laughs> you're not actually a, a king my nigga. tone it yeah, down yeah, a like bit you're not actually Chill a queen out. shorty <laughs> give me my change i don't even <laughs> want to be in this family <laughs> I mean, I, I you're don't... not really a queen shorty <laughs> just because your name is nefertiti all right moving on oh shit nah but I, you know any anytime you talk about you want to talk about hypergamy I don't know what that is. Yeah, never mind. By that name. name. You have to tell me what that name is. That bitches choose niggas over who has the most bread Hierarchy. security. Like it's, that's oh, yeah, what they we choose. About that. Yeah, I just didn't know about it by the name. And niggas choose bitches over how they look. Yeah, not their accolades. And how sexy they are. Yeah, not their accolades. But that's just like science though. Yeah, that's cool. We can talk about that. Yeah. Bro, then we're, we're just gonna turn into Kevin Samuel. Yeah, you just I mean, mean because you know why it's gonna turn into Kevin Samuels? Because like We've all seen the bit, the reason why the hypergamy is fucking bitches up now is because their goals are unrealistic. They're all looking for the same niggas, and right. those niggas are like five percent of niggas. Right. So all the bitches can't get. Every bitch is not gonna fuck LeBron. So There's one. Wanna, he already has a wife. Wanna, it's over. Wanna, wanna, so here I am about, catching the rebounds. Do you want to talk about? Um, That's pretty much what how but they don't want you, so they because women leave you automatically. So and what happens? So college, you sit on the, you sit on your money, you sit on the real estate, college, right? You just sit there and let it, and let it gain, let it gain, baby. Don't come around. About that, it was a Kevin Samuels video, but ultimately, like women don't even want women coming out of college don't even want niggas their age. They want dudes making a hundred thousand dollars. Woo! Get your money up. They and then they go into then they go into their their work and get and then start making their money and then they're like yeah if he's not making as much as I do get him out of here yeah but I like the theory of uh, damn I wish you could say that again because I want to go straight off of it uh, we're talking about how, uh, ultimately he was talking about how women are waiting until they're fucking thirty five mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. try to look for marriage mm-hmm. yes and that and that fucks up the whole game mm-hmm. but you know why it fucks the game up and tell me if y'all fuck with me on this like mm-hmm. I don't know if you're still in the game you was this is a different kind of conversation when you wait till you're like thirty two thirty three you get your career you're, you know your fucking masters you yeah. you're the fucking c f o c e o about to be junior vice president whatever it is right, right. yeah now you're 32, 33, 34. Trying to get back in the game and they're trying to back the best niggas. Right. And them niggas are already 35, 34, already been through their life, bitches, bitches that's been trying to get on them, yeah. shorties that's been trying to bag with them, okay. just back and forth. I don't mean nothing by bitches, I'm sorry. Women, ladies, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just coming in, cutting necks. Right. And, expect- and you're already old. Older too, so like even you know niggas want to get married and have mad kids, bro. I'm t- I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, niggas want them to get married and have at least two. Kids. This is true. You know what I mean? So if you're 33, 34, 35, is two kids gonna rock? I think so. 
You gotta have a back to back. You gotta have the back to back. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Really? After thirty five, having kids is shaky. Still shaky, baby. For women or for men? For women. Okay, for women, yeah. And all the right. women are choosing to wait I, and do the... And, and I can't really fault them all the way because men, a lot of men have been shaky. So they've developed this protection dome over themselves like, yo, oh, fuck. So it's a men's fault? Fuck. That, that's what they're saying. That's how they're trying to play Is it. Is that how you feel? No, it's not how I feel. Come on. Uh-huh. I just want to make sure. I think sure. we both got to take accountability. Hey, man, if these women want to wait until they're 35... The, the dudes that I know, the dudes that I wait. see, they take care of their responsibilities, bro. They're in their kids' lives. They're with their shorties. They're trying to make it right. If they can't make it right, they're at least taking care of what they got to take care of. I don't see them wilding out. What? How'd you get to the, the fathers? We, we just... They're not necessarily just fathers. Just they take care of their response. Niggas leaving. Oh. Or not being... Okay, you feel okay, me? Okay, okay, okay. You see what you see? That's a reasonable... Yeah, no, no, no. I, okay. I, I just got lost for a second. Okay. <clears throat> The accountabilities on both sides. Yeah. But so do you, do you feel that you, you do you feel that the average uh, woman today isn't even looking to get into marriage until like you said you, they don't look to get into marriage until their mid thirties. Is, is that is that the best thing for them? I don't think that's the best course, but you know, women they want to do, do it. They want to do it. I think that's just going to slow down birth rates. I mean, like, I don't want to get it. It's too, it's, it's a lot of shit, man. No, man, you got to If you're waiting it. to get married as a woman until you're 34, 35 years old, you're having two kids the most. Okay, man, but they, that's. And they're back to back. If you're waiting to 34 as a woman to have kids, right, get married, have kids, you're having like two kids the most. That's that third crazy. kid is shaky. Two is good, man. The probabilities. And that's good too. Two kids is good enough. That's good though. Why you want a lot more than none against. Yeah. Bigger families, but and the shaky two kids too. Cause that second one's after thirty five. Hey man, you gotta let them live. And then you did all that work, right, to get the degree, right? Or the position, and then you gotta take time off if you if you're gonna stay home. If you're gonna stay home. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Or if you're not going to stay home, you're going to pay somebody big breads to watch the kids. What would you rather have? That's the, unfortunate the for mother, them that they're, uh, that the they mother have to go the children it. watching the kids uh, in those early years or or uh, her working in, um, under care by somebody else? To be honest, I'd rather have, there's nothing better than having <laughs> Mom Duke's home. Fucking uh, taking care of the house, cooking the real food, so they're yeah. not eating that we don't even know what's in it. Okay. Uh, teaching them the shit, making sure you know what they're watching. So you, even yeah. if it's some crazy shit, you can explain it. We don't believe that. We don't agree with that. That's not what we do. We don't do it like that. This is just entertainment. That's not real. Whatever <laughs> the shit you got to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's always A1, but the world we live in, it's not fair. We're under a machine. We're still slaves. We don't realize it. Mm-hmm. Niggas, the cost of living is too high that... Probably both niggas got to work. I, yes, that's how it is. Even if it's part time, like she got to work too, bro. Like we can't afford it. To you l- want especially that though. we can't afford it. We got to like some. It's she got to work too, unless I'm making them ducats, and that's what niggas should aspire to do. It's healthy to make that ducats that she work. doesn't have to work. So at least that first eight years, seven. Maybe I'm going far. Maybe it's really like six, seven. Because after that, they can walk. Around. Hey, come <coughs> over here. Let's go over there. Sit down. Eat this. You know what I mean? But those first five, six years, I would rather her be there. Let me ask y'all a parenting question. Mm. Would you let your kids listen to rap music? Yes. I mean, they're black, yes. But it'd be heavily... Like the edited would be, versions? We'd have to... We'd, or would you let them listen mad, to the regular it's so, it, It's kid by kid. I can't front. Like, the songs I love, they're part of me, too. I, I, pro- I, I already do play songs that I love in front of my children. So, I mean, nah, I songs are definitely as songs I shouldn't play. I'm not. I listen to everything as a kid, so I'm obviously. I feel like a great song torch. to play is like all the melodies and all them shits I play, like the Frank Sinatra heats and them fucking R and B shits. But the wrong songs to play is like I still love my thug shit. I still love my future shit. Oh. Little kids love body, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. They love that fucking song. Or Corvette, Corvette. Psh. They love it. It's the beat. It's just, it's just the beat. But I'm saying, do you feel okay pumping with WAP? No, I mean, 
I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable playing because it's that so the words are so provocative, and I feel like it's a part of their innocence being taken away from them. Mm-hmm. But I feel like okay. if it's my kid, yeah, it'll be so heavily monitored and explained and yeah. reinforced and talked about. Like that's not. These are grown people talking about shit that we don't even fuck with. I feel like, you. Like, you know it. what I mean? This is, but I'm not introducing that to them. Yeah, I feel you can't. And for me, I'm not playing no uh, vulgar music around my kids. Right now, it's heavy R&B. Yeah. Heavy yeah. standards. They jazz, can catch up like later. Classical music. Yeah, they, like, they can catch up later. Every now and then, there's some melodic mm. ass thug shit that I play, but he's not understanding none of them words. Hmm. Grown niggas can't understand them words. Yeah. So, if we turn around and, and keep that from them, and then they get it from somebody else, and, it's, back, and that's why, and that's, else. and that's why I feel like I still play this shit and I still explain this shit because I'd rather explain it to you than some stupid nigga explain it to you. Like this is real. This is the coolest shit ever. Not this necessarily. Is what it is. Like I'm like, yo, this is fucking music, bro. Not necessarily. This is not real. Not necessarily. You don't have you know to be like that. That's why I will. Because they could find that on their own is true from someone else, but if they come to you and they present it to you and you don't... They won't come to you and keep hiding shit. No, actually, it's no. They it. will come to you. It's just not allowing that music in the crib. Oh. Kids, I'm sure that kids... I mean, I don't know. I didn't hide anything until it was denied, so... If I... We all had to hide music from our... our, our, yeah, our that's, it's music. Yeah. Right, that's understandable. I didn't hide no yeah. music from my parents. I feel not wanting to blast curse but words. It wasn't that, parents. but they didn't put me on. That doesn't but our mean that parents, they put, at the same know, point in time, I feel like our parents stop it. I don't know about. So I don't different. know about everybody's parents. But I know my it. parents told me this music is not real. These people are saying the most craziest shit. They're just saying stories. Like, don't believe this. This is not what you want to be. This is not what you want to do. They're also saying that. And I feel like as parents, we go even further because we know even more about this music and how much more it's not real for the most part. I mean, there's real aspects of it because some of these things do happen. But these people are, you know, this glitz and glamour, this lifestyle is not what it really is, what it seems to be. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, you just can't uh, deny it. If you deny it, then that's when they'll hide it. Uh, so you gotta be open. expose your kids to the music? No. No. Introduce it to them? No. No. If you find like, them, like, if like, you like, find you can, them no, hiding, I'm, saying, I'm not playing. There's, there's cool rap you, songs. Gangsta's Paradise. Like, I mean, yeah, like Chance the Rapper's album. I mean, probably not Chance the Rapper because I don't like him. Drake. But, yeah, so yeah, the, the more PG. Drake and of, Dirk. No. Uh. Kanye. Like, there, there's, there's cool rap to Jay Z niggas that, in Paris. Not, no. Sweetly. Crazy in love with Jay Z and Beyonce. Sure. Nah, he said he moved the bass like he's Juan Pierre. Okay, so... He said he run the bass like he's Juan Pierre. So, no, never mind. You're going to have to explain what that means to them. about Jesus is King and Kanye? Jesus is King and Kanye album. I haven't heard it. You didn't... You Stop lying. Fire Bleak album. played that shit nonstop when it came Fire, out. heat. Blood but exchange. Yeah, man. How about the new Nas album? Nah. Grammy, Grammy Award winning Nas. What about the Grammy Award winning Nas album? No. You could definitely put your kids on some music, man. No. No Nas. King's disease. Yeah, King theme. I heard. Good looks. Good. I think this was an excellent episode. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get it. Smokey everywhere. Where we potted smoke, today? Smoke, smoke, smoke. We potted it the fuck down. Smoke. Oh, uh, we, we came back. We bounced back from the foolishness. Yeah. Foolish. Uh. What's new, guys? That's it? We're done? Yeah. We're out of here? Nothing else? <laughs> Thanks for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Yeah. And we'll try to do better next week. Yeah. It's the Blunt yeah. Exchange episode 35. 35. Uh, like. Hit us up, Blunt Exchange Gmail. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help Ooh. us grow the channel. Um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it.